Ukrainians fought back. Uh, the Ukrainians continue to fight back. Um, and they've done it so resiliently. We've all have even gotten used to basically become routine um, to see a lot of innovation and really amazing breakthroughs. On September 15th, 2023, the UC Berkeley Haas School of Business hosted a gala dinner in order to preserve Ukrainian culture amidst the Russia-Ukraine war. Anastasia Fedik, an assistant professor of finance at the Haas School of Business and co-founder of Economists of Ukraine, interviewed with CalTV News to discuss the significance of the gala. Um, so the purpose of the event tonight is to showcase some of the work that we've been doing um, and also to kind of mobilize further awareness and support um, for the fact that over the last year and a half, it's become very evident that what Russia does in Ukraine, what it's not able to just smoothly take over and subjugate, is destroy. Fedik then discussed the initiatives that bolster efforts to support Ukraine and their importance to the event. My um, co-founders of Economists for Ukraine um, and the fiscal sponsor organization of Economists for Ukraine, the AI for Good Foundation. It's a nonprofit, a registered 501c3 that administers all of our programs. I'm actually the chief, um, chief economist of the AI for Good Foundation, um, so involved with their efforts as well, especially with their Ukraine initiatives. Um, and then we have a lot of volunteers, so the club students are here helping set up. The students helping out are, of course, the members of the Ukrainian Club of Berkeley, as well as some of the students who are working with me on policy-related research um, that relates to the Ukraine program, sanctions on Russia, um, as well as some macroeconomic analysis and data collection. The gala highlighted an exhibit of the Speedoc online diary platform, which has previously circulated from the U.S. Congress in 2022 and the Consulate General of the Republic of Poland in New York in 2023. Its California debut stood along the event venue, taking center stage for guests to view. Ukrainians to fight back um, work to preserve that, of course, on the front lines, but also in civil society. Speedoc means witness in Ukrainian, underscoring voices of experience during the war, this is the largest archive of war experience from Ukraine. So the initiatives that we're going to be um, showcasing today are really aimed at preserving that Ukrainian identity, Ukrainian culture, Ukrainian heritage by recording stories of the war. So we're going to showcase experiences by ordinary Ukrainians, um, kind of kept in a diary um, with the largest archive of war stories, the Svidak platform that we run in Ukraine in collaboration with the Ministry of Culture, um, as well as some Ukrainian art, including a benefit auction. That's what the event today is as well. It's, getting that, um, that, that broad Ukrainian heritage supported and, um, and preserved. Fedek also highlighted the importance of every Ukrainian's unique experience living through the war. We see a lot of really sort of dramatic events in the news and, and sometimes we get desensitized to that. Um, but really every single Ukrainian has a story to share um, and all of those stories are important. Sometimes you know, people think, well, I, I did like, I'm not as unfortunate as somebody else, so maybe I'm not as important, it's not as important to preserve my stories. Um, maybe I don't see that much, I don't get out that much. We have people in occupation who don't get out of their houses. I mean, think about it, Anne Frank didn't get out of her hiding place for years, and yet her testimony was the one that proved so touching um, and was able to really get people to understand the course of World War II. Um, so that's kind of the angle that we're trying to highlight, is that every Ukrainian has a story um, that is worth trying to preserve that as much as possible, because after this war is hopefully won, um, that's when we're really going to have um, to unpack, uh, to preserve, to, to learn from those experiences. The event was both a celebration of Ukrainian culture in Berkeley and a declaration of strength for Ukraine during the Russia-Ukraine war. This was Shayla Eslampour and Joe Moon for CalTV News.